Dear friends and colleagues, welcome to Decision Camp. I'm Jacob Feldman, and it's an honor for me to kick off this important annual event. I'm glad to greet all our attendees and presenters from around the globe. This year, our main schema is called bringing AI in the hands of business users. In the days when everybody talk about AI, decision automation is one of the most practical AI areas, which gives control over decisions to subject matter experts. As you can see, this is our 14th decision camp originated by practitioners and for practitioners. For the third time, we do it online. Hopefully, next year we will return to the in-person format. In the last 25 years, our movement and supporting products have changed dramatically. Even the name of our movement keeps changing, from rule engines to BRMS to rules and decision management, and recently from decision digital decisioning to decision intelligence. But where is the major focus today? When you think about what we are doing as an industry, we may see three major uh, interconnected architectural levels, knowledge representation, decision services, and decision-making applications. Knowledge representation covers uh, domain-specific terms, facts, uh, rules defined on them, and this knowledge feeds uh, our decision models deployed as loosely coupled decision services, which are invoked by domain-specific decision-making applications. During the next three days, uh, we will discuss all these architectural topics in details. I just want to stress a few hot topics that uh, are in focus today. It's uh, ongoing improvements with continuous integration and continuous deployment. It's machine learning for ongoing rules discovery. And finally, it's human factors that deal with relationship between business analyst, IT, and DevOps, cover ethical decision making, and discuss best decision modeling practices and real world human experiences. I wish all of you happy camping. And now I will give control to our master of ceremony, Sandy Kempsley. Thanks, Jacob. It's great to be here again. It's um, This is our, our third year at the online version, and I think we've got our techniques down um, pretty well now. Um, we're going to be here for the next three days. We'll be starting at nine o'clock uh, Eastern time every every day, Eastern North American time every day. Um, and every we're going to start each session at the top of the hour on time. So each session will be about 45 minutes, 50 minutes, um, including, you know, some Q&A at the end, and then I will make sure that we uh, that we run on time. You can look at the schedule online. Uh, there are 18 presentations and two keynotes. Um, there for one of the at least one of the keynotes, we're going to be directing you over to another site to watch the keynote because it's on WebEx, I believe, rather than uh, rather than our Zoom platform. And then we're going to be having a panel um, tomorrow near the end of the day. Uh, James Taylor is going to be moderating the panel, and uh, that should be a lot of fun. Okay, next slide, please, Jacob. All right, so um, just a few logistics. This is the same as we've done previously for those of you who have participated. Zoom is our broadcast platform, but we're using Slack as our discussion platform. So if you have questions for the speaker, you can either raise your hand on Zoom and then I will call on you. Or if you have a typed question, you can put it in the 2022 camp uh, section over on Slack, and then I will read the question for you. That way it's persistent so that if we don't get to all the questions during the Q&A, the speaker can go back and address your question in, in writing after that, whereas with the Zoom chat will disappear when the Zoom, the Zoom session ends. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, everything is going to be recorded. Uh, Jacob is recording this session already, but what he will do is stop and start the uh, each at the beginning and end of each session so that we have each one as a separate session. And then he'll be posting those to YouTube channel probably by the by the next day, depending on you know how much sleep he wants to get overnight in between the in between the sessions. 
Um, okay, so that's that's about it. I just ask you that if you're not presenting, uh, please keep your microphone on mute and uh, turn your video off and.